Hello, I'm Steve, and welcome to the show. Our first guest is Teresa. How you doing, Teresa? Fine, how are you doing? I heard a little bit about your story, and uh, it's a tough story. Why don't you tell the audience? Okay, I am 20 years old. I have a five and a half month old daughter, and her dad, Austin, and I have been together for about a year and a half now. Well, when we first got together, I didn't really plan on getting pregnant. And about three weeks in our relationship, I got pregnant. Well, I told Austin, I called Austin on the phone as soon as I found out, because I was excited, I was happy. You know? Slow down. We'll I'm be, sorry. Yeah, that's all right. You love those, <laughs> but it's okay. Well, I was very excited because I've always wanted a daughter because my life at home wasn't very great. So I knew that maybe I, you know, I'd be a good mom. I knew how to raise a baby and knew what not to do. When you were do. still living at home with your parents? Yeah, it, was, it wasn't very good. And what, I, what was wrong? My, I didn't, I felt like no one really cared for me, you know? You didn't feel like your parents cared for yeah, you? Yeah, and my parents got a divorce. So I felt no one was there for me. Well, when Austin and I met, you know, I felt, I wanted that caring that somebody could give you, and he gave it all to me. Well, whenever I told him I was pregnant, he didn't really care. I called him on the phone, and I told him, I was like, you know, Austin, yeah, I just found out I'm pregnant. And he's like, well, let me call you back, and hung up on me. Well, I go home, and I was there for two days by myself. I was scared because I was there by myself. Well, he comes home two days later, and I could tell something was wrong with him. I asked him, I was like, So you tell him, and then he doesn't get back to you for two days? Two days. I come home, and And how long gone. have you been going on at this point? For about three weeks. No, it was three weeks when I got pregnant, I guess. So it was about nine weeks. So you're together. together nine weeks, and then you find out you're pregnant? Yeah. Well, he comes home, and I can see something's wrong with him. So I was like, you know, what's wrong, Austin? He's like... I want you to have an abortion. I was like, an abortion? He's like, I'm not going to have an abortion. You know, because that hurt. That hurt bad. You know, I wasn't going to give my daughter for, you know, having an abortion. Because you wanted to have your child. Yeah, because it's something I've always wanted is that, you know, as a baby, have a real family. Well, next day, he tells me to get in the car. I get in the car, and he takes me to an abortion clinic and gives me $700. And you didn't know that you were going uh -uh. there? No. So he just drives you, yeah. here's $700. Yeah. Well, he takes me up there and drops me off. So I'm there by myself. And I didn't talk to nobody. I took the money and got out, and he's like, get rid of it. And that hurt, because it's supposed to be his baby, you know. Well, I go in the abortion clinic, and I sit down in the corner. I don't talk to anybody. I'm sitting there. I don't talk to anybody. I don't check in. don't do nothing. I sit in the corner and cry for hours. I sit there by myself. Finally, I make it home, and I lie to Austin. You know, I tell him I had the abortion. And I put the money back for, like, whenever I need it, whenever I had the baby for cribs and clothes and stuff. Well, that goes on, and that, that works for a while until I start showing. He's like, you know, why are you sleeping so much? Why are you eating so much? Why are you getting fat? And, I, you know, I thought maybe by that so time. So he asked you, how, why are you getting so fat? Yeah. And I was like, well, you know, I couldn't pull it off very much longer. So I told him, I was like, I lied to you. I didn't have an abortion. And I thought by this time, you know, his mind would have been changed. Well, I tell him I'm still pregnant, and he gets mad at me. He hits me, throws me against the wall, and tells me he's, I'm not having his kid. He says he's too young for a kid. He starts slapping you around. Yeah, he slaps me, throws because me around. Because he finds out that you didn't have the abortion. Yeah. He starts slapping you around and knowing that you're still pregnant. Yeah. He said I didn't, he wasn't ready for a kid. He said, at that exact moment that he did that, don't you just say, there is no way in hell I'm going to be with this guy? I have nothing else. I have nothing. I have nothing talked. else would be better. I haven't. I didn't finish school. I don't. I didn't have a job, and my parents. I haven't talked to them in years. I haven't talked to them in a while, and I had nowhere to turn to. You know. Maybe this is, maybe this is a time to maybe try to connect back with your parents. I mean, I've if tried. some. I mean, first of all, even before <laughs> he's calling you fat. Yeah. I mean, if you're in a relationship and somebody cares about you, they don't insult you. Yeah, and then he finds out you're pregnant, and then he abuses you physically? Yeah, I have hope in my heart, and I seriously believe. And he tells me he, he'll change, and I believe he can change, and I believe he will. I would never give him the chance to change. I really wouldn't. <laughs> We're going to meet Austin next segment. I go into labor, and I go to the hospital, and I'm there by myself, too. At the hospital for three days by so myself. So he doesn't even show up at the hospital? Nobody. When you go into labor? Nobody. So I'm there by myself, and I'm scared and alone, because I didn't want to be alone at this time. 
And so I have her, and I look at her, and you know, it made me happy because it's that unconditional love that you get to hold. And it's she's a beautiful moment when your child is born. Very. And I didn't want to be by myself on it. I wanted her father to be there. Well, I take her home, you know, thinking once he holds her. Now, why isn't he there, though? Did he say why he wasn't going to be there? He just didn't show up? Or? It's not his kid. It's what he said. He's, oh, he's saying it's no, not his kid. No, he said he's not going to have his kid, you know. So, you know, he doesn't want it. He wanted to go to college, is what he said. Well, I bring that. I take her home, and thinking once he held her that everything would change. Well, I get her home, and he doesn't even touch her. He's never fed my daughter. She's five and a half months old. He calls her names. If he has a bad day at work, what do, you, what, what do you mean he calls her names? He calls her like a bitch. You know, she's dirty. And how old's your child? Five and a half months old. Okay. Now you have to realize this guy is. I'm. I mean, I'm desperate. You know. I have, like I said, I have nothing. I so have he doesn't pick up the child? He doesn't say... He acts like she's a disease. He acts like he doesn't want nothing to do with her. I mean, you see where I'm coming with this, that he doesn't eat, even before the child, like, he's insulting you. He's abandoning you. He doesn't show up when you're having the baby. I have this love for him, so much love for him in my heart. I have but he's not showing you love. He's not showing his own daughter love. Because he says he's too young for a kid. But he said that he, he wants to give her up for adoption now. And I don't want to give her up for adoption. That's well, my daughter. Well, I hope you don't do that. I wouldn't do that. Good. Don't let him influence you. Oh, he wouldn't. Because, I mean, that's my daughter. He wasn't there. He hasn't been there. So just let her be, you know, let her be there for me. So what do you want? Why are you here today? I mean. Because I believe that some, if, like, if you say something to him, like, because me, if I stand up to him, he stands back up to me and he pushes me around. So, I mean, I believe that somebody could say something to him and make him change his mind. Because, I mean, he has a daughter and I don't, I, he's like, he doesn't realize that. I mean, I can try to talk to him. And I mean, I'll tell you, from listening to how he is, I don't know if you want me to be talking to him. Because, I mean, I'm a little upset just even hearing this story. And I mean... I'll help and do whatever I can and s say something to him. Yeah. But eventually, this is your life. Yeah. This is your child. You have to stand up for yourself. I know. Yeah. Yeah. And to be honest, you don't, you know, I know in the perfect world, we would love to have a mother and a father for our yeah. children. But the point is, if he's not going to be good, and if he's going to treat you this way, then really you are much better off without him and raising this child on your own. I mean, do you want your daughter to see someday he's calling you fat? You know, she's in the hospital someday maybe and he doesn't show up. I mean, what good is if he's just around and he's abusive? I know, but it's just, I still believe... I mean, we'll try. I'm saying, but do you see yeah. that if he doesn't change and really you're going to have to stand up and demand respect for yourself and demand that he loves his child. I mean... But whenever I do it, it doesn't work. All right, well, let's meet Austin. Here he is. Relax. You huh? come out here and start yelling You ain't going to tell me what you to do. You can talk to her. Yeah, you are going to listen to what I I bet I say. don't, boy. You're going to sit down. You don't call me now. Hey, 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 don't push me. Who do you think you are? Huh? Who do you think you are, boy? Huh? Huh? You're going to do what I tell you to do. Who do you think I am, boy? Who do you think I am? You're going to come down. You have a baby with this woman? You're going to treat her like that? You're going to come out here and disrespect I gave her $700 for abortion. She knew I didn't want that baby. She's the mother of your child. It ain't my daughter. Oh, it's not. No, it's not. Who do you think you're with? She loves you. I don't she love loves her. your daughter. I don't love I only well, thought I could get. Well, now you got a baby and it's too late. It's too late. I don't have no baby. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. What are you, some scum? Yeah, hell hell yeah, I am, boy. Yeah. 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 Well, I ain't scared of you. What you, you ain't gonna be come telling me what to do. You know what? You know what? You can't tell you anything. You're too stupid. Yeah! Come on, boy. Yeah! Huh? 
What are you gonna do? She knows I didn't want that, baby. You're just some young punk that doesn't know anything. I don't want. You I, have a yeah. You don't want. You don't want what? I don't want. Oh, what? 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 Yeah. What? Yeah. What? What do you think you're gonna do, huh? That that baby ain't did nothing but ruin my life. Yeah. That's all it's did. The only person that's ruining your life is yourself. Oh yeah. Yeah. You bring this little baby in the world, you won't even take responsibility. What are you, some kind of animal? I don't want nothing to do. It ain't did nothing but ruin my life. How did a baby ruin your life? It ruined Keep my it in future. your pants, then. Yeah! Ruin your future. Yeah. I had plans for my life till this little bitch came in my life. Well, guess what? It's too late. Now you gotta act like a man and take responsibility well, for your baby. Well, I ain't. And you know what? You're right. I can't make you do anything. But when you're on the stage, you're not gonna come out and start screaming at her. Do you understand me? I'll do what I do. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be back. Now before I don't want nothing to do with the kid. I'm gonna put you up for a me drag you off the stage and do something I don't want to do. You're gonna talk to her. All right? No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. I'll... You don't care about your daughter. You don't care, I don't about, care about her. I don't care about I don't care about that little bitch. Every time I see that little bitch sitting here, it just makes me sick. You make me sick. Every time I see them toys laying in the floor, I just kick, I just kick the out of them, throw them out. I don't want nothing to do with her. Or her. I don't love her. I never have. I said what I had to say so I could get laid. That's it. And so now you have a little baby in this world, and she's going to see this someday, and she's going to see that's my father, and that's the way he talked about me. I don't have no baby. Yeah. I gave her $700 for an abortion. Believe me she should have got Believe it. me when I say this. You're going to regret this someday. You are I ain't going to regret, regret nothing. This. You know what? The only thing I regret is having her. You're the kind of guy someday when you're a loser, you'll be going to your daughter and asking her for things and begging her. I ain't going to And you're going to be her. saying, I, I, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I wasn't there all those years. You only get one chance. You only get these years once. And don't I don't screw want, it I don't up. want nothing to do with you. Let me, t let me ask you something. What's life about? What do you want out of life? I want her out of my life. The most I want to put her up for adoption. I want to get rid of her. And I want to do what I had planned. Well, either way, you're going to do what I you have to do. I could be going to college. You're going to be forced to do what you're supposed to be I could be going to college. I could be on the mountain construction You're going to go to college. I could be doing whatever you're I want. You're going to go to college. The only thing that's holding me back is that girl. You're an idiot. No. How are you going to go no. to college? How are you going to go to college? If I didn't have that damn baby, spending all my money on her. Do you know, when you go to college, you're supposed to use some logic, use some smarts. You're not using smarts now. You bring a baby in the world, you act like an idiot. I didn't, I paid for the abortion. She had went through the abortion, we wouldn't be having this problem. You act like that's a stand-up thing to do. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? What are you going to go to college and be? I'm going to go. <laughs> it don't matter because I can't go because of the damn baby. Do you even know what college is? Yeah. I know what college is. I, I'm not sure you do. This is who you want to be with? Yeah, I love her. I, I mean, beat I her ass. Her, yeah. I did everything. I beat her. I slap her ass around. I want her out of my house. Yeah, because you're a real yeah. tough guy. Because I don't you want her around. You can slap her around. Yeah. You're a real tough guy. Yeah. Yeah. Every time I see them baby toys laying on the floor, it just makes me want to beat the out of her. You know what? When I was a policeman, I wish I don't care what you were. I wish and pray. I wish uh, I prayed that she was a pig. That's all you was. Right. Was a pig. I just pig. Yes. Yes. I, I bet you Because I'll tell you what, I wouldn't care what happened to me if I was on the streets as a policeman. I would tune your ass up, man. <laughs> You're just a stupid That's why you're so kid. You ain't hold you That's back, right. Man. Yeah. That's right. Cause you I don't want to get hurt. Oh yeah. I'm gonna get hurt by yeah. some fat little kid. A fat? Yeah. That's right.
nothing to do with her. I don't want nothing to do with that baby. It's running my life. I can't stand it. I can't stand having to get you know up at what? 6 o'clock in the morning let's that little You know what? Cry. She asked me to talk I to you. I can't handle no baby crying. She asked crying me to talk to you. Up, but you know what? I don't see any point in it. Seven days a week? You're a waste I, of a human being. Waste my check on diapers and baby wipes? You have a I chance. You have a chance to be with a beautiful young woman. For what she sees in you, I don't know. I never loved her. It doesn't matter. I never loved her. She Just, loves you. No, I she don't carries love your child. Your child. Think about it. I bet somebody came in that house and, I don't have and a did child. something to that child. What would you do? Would you just let somebody abuse your child? You yeah. say you don't have a yeah. child. You would just let somebody do yeah. something on your don't child. Want it. I don't want it. There's a surprise from Ther for Teresa when we come back. Yeah! Welcome back. I've been doing this show a long time, and a lot of times I meet people in the street or somewhere, and they always ask me, do you ever want to haul off and punch somebody? And my answer is always no. I, you know, I don't take the show too seriously. I try not to get that personally involved. But I got to say, I would love to punch you. Yeah! I would And of all the hey, despicable, folks, we, you know what? Shut up. We've had some, we really had some bad people on the show sometimes. But I gotta say, this kid might be the worst. Come on. The good news, I mean, there's no sense in me talking to him anymore. I mean, I know you love him, but I, I can't see anything good in him. And after what he set up here. You have to be able to see that too. Yeah. Okay. The good news is, though, we did find your mother. And I understand, you know, you've had some problems in the past, but she wants to come back in your life and see if she can help you, and hopefully she can be somebody that you can turn to and help you with your baby. Here's your mother, Teresa. Yeah. help you before, but I'm here to help you now. And I love you. You son of a bitch. No, no, no. You don't ever, oh, no, no, no. don't ever hit my daughter. You don't ever hit my daughter. This is your mother. Talk to your Forget him. Hey, take, take him I'm off. I'm here to help take you. Take him off. <laughs> Believe me. Forget him. Here's your mother. Talk to her. I'm here to help you. We can start over. We don't have much, but we can make it together, okay? <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you too. Mom, tell me. How did it get to the point where your daughter didn't have you to turn to? You're a loser, too. Both you bitches take that kid and get it out of my house. You hear me? Huh? Yeah, I'll I slap you, too, just like I, I did your daughter. You. Well, I ain't scared. You are you crap just like I told I was you. your daughter. You touch my daughter again, I'll whoop your ass. <laughs> Daughter again. Oh. I want her a better life than what you could give yeah. her. That damn baby's messed my life up. It's I could your... be doing better things than putting up that little sorry ass baby. You take your damn granddaughter and your little baby and get them the hell out of my house. That's exactly what I plan to well, do, Austin. Do. I don't know why you come around she can around do now. Better than you ain't you. been around lately. I hate you, Austin. Hell, you been out before. Don't you ever touch my daughter again. I'll don't you ever. I'll slap you her. just like I don't slap her. her. Touch her. Think I won't. You want to do something? Yeah. Let's do yeah. it. Yeah. Come here. Oh. Come here. You are, you are disgusting. Hey, boy, I've been slapping yeah. you too, don't boy. Don't you ever. Hey, you know what? 
for the last 20 years of my life, I've been hearing guys like you say that, and I'm still standing here. You know what? Step back, step back. Mom, mom, mom. Come on. Mom, 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 mom. Don't worry about your daughter. You think your, your parents yeah. treat you like this? Did they say this about you? Austin, I've been... Hold on a second. Your parents treat you like this? Your father say he's a scumbag, I want nothing to do with him? What father? Huh? You tell me Well, maybe that's father. the problem. Yeah, it is. Come here. Well, why don't you Come change on. it around and do step the right closer, thing? Boy. Why don't you do the right thing? Come on, step yeah. closer. Step closer. Be jazz just like I do Tracy. Hey, 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 when I yeah. go to the zoo, I keep my distance, okay? Yeah. yeah. You better. You better, dude. Yeah. You hear what I'm... Hey. I'm scared of you. Settle down. I'm not tell me what to do. Here's your chance. Boy. Austin, I was... I don't give a damn what's the world. Your daughter's gonna be abused just... Hey, boy. Get your hands off me. No. Get off me. Do you understand me? Don't you ever grab your head? Do you hear me? I'm telling you. You ain't gonna be listening for a second. You can change this around. Yeah. You don't have to be the... Yeah. I gave her 700 to get that damn baby out of my life. She needs to hurry and do it, boy. You see how you're acting? How do you think yeah. you're going to turn out? Yeah. Huh? 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 What's going to happen to your life? Good damn boy. Yeah. yeah, a whole lot better if that baby You know what? You're going to end up prison being somebody's bitch. Yeah. You're going to be my bitch, boy. You're going to be my bitch, boy. You're going to be my bitch. You're lucky I'm being held back. Hey, I'll write you in jail. Yeah. 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 Maybe we could do a remote. Yeah. Yeah. To God, I people ask me if this show's real. I want to go back there and kick that guy's ass right now. And I, I swear, I better not hear you go back to that guy. You better run now. as far as you can. And mom, you see what she, you see what she's dealing with. You Not have, anymore. You have to be there for her. You got to do the right thing. This is your daughter. We'll be back.